All right, in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at the new Sharp Tools scalable dashboards. And what this will allow you to do is create one dashboard that will automatically resize to fit all of your devices. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to building the ultimate smart home. Like I said, in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at our Sharp Tools dashboards, and it's going to be a little bit different when you create a new dashboard. Now, when it pops up, um, you have a target device. So depending on which one you choose here, it's going to choose a tile size for you. You can also change it back to reflowing, but you would want to definitely stay on scalable dashboards. This is the much better um, way. And then this is the classic way. So we're gonna go ahead and create a dashboard that is for a landscape tablet and just click create. Now we're going to have to add some tiles here. So all you have to do is click add tile. Okay, so I've just added a bunch of lights to the dashboard. And when we click off, you can see I've taken up the whole um, screen here. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six across, and we have three tall. Now you could just keep it um, like this if you like this size, but what we want to look at here is the scalable part of the dashboard. So if we tap on the three dots at the bottom here, click on configuration, then right here you have your dashboard name and right under your dashboard name you have a scaling approach. So the scalable row width is what you would set. And then say I wanted this to be half the size. So if I got six columns wide, if I just type in 12 here and then hit save, now you can see that it has made all of these tiles smaller and it's fit 12 across the top here. So if we come down to the three dots again at the bottom, click on configuration, maybe I only want that to be 10 and just click save. And now we have 10 across. So what you'd want to do here is you would want to, if we're doing a tablet, what you would want to do is size it to be the exact size of your tablet based on the tile size that you want to use. You kind of got to know your um, tablet width. So you'd want to have your tablet next to you when you're on the computer and just resize it to fit the way you want it to. And then after that, you can obviously resize um, tiles. So if we just come up to Ari's light here, tap on the three dots, click on edit, we can change the dimension of this tile. Let's just choose one tall by two wide and click save. Now you can see this is two wide. And if we drag it up here, now this is counts, counts as two. So you would have the other eight here. Now you're actually defining the width. So whatever you go to, like when I resize this, it just gets smaller. You know, this is kind of what it would maybe look like on a tablet, maybe a little bit bigger, um, but you can come right to your computer. You can open it full screen so it's bigger and you can edit it. Um, once you get it the way you want, it'll just be that way on your tablet. So this is a game changer. This is a way better way of doing things here. Um, you can see that it's just so awesome because you just set the width and it changes. You can always come back in and go to scalable row width and change the number of columns to say eight, tap on save, and now it's quite a bit bigger. And then when we make it smaller, it's still a reasonable size. All right, so now let's go to one of my dashboards that I already have set up that I have not changed to the scalable width. So if we just go to dashboards and let's just go to my security dashboard. So here is the security dashboard and I'm going to resize this window to make it look correct. So this is how it's it's meant to look. So I've set it up here where I have the home spot that takes me back to my dashboard list. I have the security section here, which has you know locks and security and all that stuff here. 
I have leaks and everything down in this section with our water valve. And over here we have locations so we can know where people are. And we also know if people are in their beds or not. Problem is, since it's not set up as a scalable dashboard, when I hit this, it reflows. It's just reflowing to fill up the width. So if we come back here, what we're gonna have to do is figure out the width of this. So I think each one of these is three tiles. So this would be three, six, nine, 12, 15. So let's try to change this to a scalable dashboard. We just go to the three dots at the bottom, tap on configuration, and we need to change our sizing approach to scalable. And let's change this to be 15. And let's choose save. So it didn't change. Um, so that is a good sign. So now when we make this window large, now you can see it just resizes and looks perfect still. So that is exactly what we want. Now there are some other options now that this dashboard is completely set up. If we come back into configuration, you can change the tile space. So this is basically the space around the tiles. So if we come here, right now we have it on 10. If I put no gap, and let's save that. Now you can see that the tiles are basically touching each other. There are no gaps here. So it's completely solid tiles. Now another thing you can do, let's just change it to be a little bit of a gap. So we're gonna come back into configuration and we're gonna come in here and let's choose probably five. That would be half of what we had before and just click save. And now you can see there is a little bit of space here, which I think is good enough. That's exactly what we want because we want our tiles to be as large as possible because we don't need a ton of gap. All right, so now if we make it smaller, you can see it all still looks good. And if I resize this to be even smaller, it's still good. You know, it's going to be fine. Whatever size it is, it's going to be perfect. And one other thing I do want to cover here is you can see that locations and security are not the same. Um, so what has happened here now that we've um, made it a scalable dashboard, you may have to do, redo some of these labels to make them scalable as well. So what we want to do is we don't just want to delete the security here. And this is actually a link to one of my other dashboards. So if we just come down here, tap on edit, click here and click remove. Now we have deleted that. Now you don't want to save it because it will reflow. Um, but what you want to do is hit the plus sign and we're just going to add that dashboard back. So that was our camera dashboard and you can see it's added right here. We need to change it a little bit to make it the way it was. All right, so we change that to security, change it to one tall, eight wide, and let's choose this to be label and maybe four. Let's try that and let's click on save. All right, so now our security is back and it looks like the location here and the security are the same size. So let's go ahead and resize this and now you can see it does stay the same size. Um, so if you have any um, labels like that, you would just have to redo those labels. So that is basically all I wanted to show you in this video. This is an awesome feature of these scalable dashboards. If you have existing dashboards, you're definitely gonna wanna go back in and make them scalable. That way um, it's a lot easier to edit and they will look good on any device whenever you open them up. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section and I will see you in the next video.